created some super useful snippets, you should share them. First, locate the snippet group you want to share. From the group settings, choose Sharing. This opens TextExpander.com. Alternatively, you can just start from your TextExpander.com account. Then, choose Invite Users and type in the email addresses for the people you'd like to invite. And once you choose Invite, those people will get an email inviting them to join your snippet group. If your team uses TextExpander at work and you have one of our TextExpander for Teams accounts, then sharing snippets is even faster. To share snippets with a Teams account, first sign into TextExpander.com and select Snippet Groups from the sidebar. Choose a group to share and open the sharing settings. Once there, choose the Add Members button. You'll see a list of everyone in your organisation and can add them by selecting their name. You can also add everyone by choosing Select All and then Add Selected. Once added, everyone will instantly have access to the snippets in that group. Any updates made to that snippet group are instantly shared to everyone. A few best practices. 1. Add a complete label to each snippet. These are your instructions to the team as well as to yourself. Six months from now, when you've forgotten what the snippet is for, this will come in really handy. Number 2. Use the snippet group setting notes. This is a great place to put instructions on when and how to use this snippet group. Use the snippet group settings abbreviation prefix. You don't know which snippet abbreviations others already have. Using a group prefix reduces the likelihood of conflicting abbreviations and allows others to override the prefix locally if they need to.